Well, happy Friday Eve to you. I'm Christy Paul. So good to see you today. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Uh, I want to talk about the parents of Isabel Sellis, who clearly want whoever has her to bring her back tonight, by the way, because he'll be talking with America's most wanted host, John Walsh. Remember, his own son, Adam, was kidnapped and murdered back in 1981. Uh, he's going to talk about this and more tonight at 9 Eastern, right here on HLN. Meanwhile, we're keeping an eye on a news conference from Baltimore police regarding the death of North Carolina teenager Felicia Barnes. Remember this case? Uh, I want to let you know what we know right off the top. Police have made an arrest, and they have charged a man in connection with her death. Felicia's father tells the Baltimore son Michael Johnson used to date Felicia's sister, Dina, and court records show that in 2011, Dina asked for an injunction to keep Johnson away from her, but a judge denied that request. So we're going to keep you posted on any other important updates that come out of that news conference. Obviously, we're watching it behind the scenes here. We'll tell you what happens. My little security threat. That's what one mom posted on her Facebook page after her four-year-old daughter caused quite a ruckus at a TSA checkpoint in which... Isabella's mother has filed a complaint with the TSA and the Wichita Airport. The TSA told our affiliate, KWCH, that they explained why the child's pat-down was necessary, but they did not suspect that Isabella had a weapon. Secret Service members might have used prostitutes in a foreign country a year before the scandal in Colombia. A reporter from affiliate KIRO in Seattle went to El Salvador, where President Obama visited in 2011. A government subcontractor told him that he went to a strip club with Secret Service agents, and some had escorts at their hotel. And he also said the agents told him they did it all the time. But yesterday, at a hearing on the Columbia scandal, Homeland Security Director Janet Napolitano said there is no evidence of other incidents. Teachers were bullying his autistic son, decided to try to find out the truth. So Stuart Chaffetz sent 10-year-old Akian to his New Jersey elementary school with a recording device in his pocket and he ended up with more than six hours not just of conversations but confrontations. Mm. Chaffet says in addition to confronting the kids the staff apparently talked about getting drunk and sexual encounters right in front of those grade schoolers. Chaffetz posted those recordings online and the school says it investigated, took swift and appropriate action and the superintendent tells us the teachers recorded uh, no longer work in that district. Hey, I want to, I am telling you, this medical procedure will amaze you. It's the first time it's ever been done in the United States. A, a transplanted kidney that was failing was removed from a patient who's still alive, then given to somebody else. The don't now that kidney apparently is functioning much better in Gomez's body, but my gosh, what an amazing selfless gift, isn't it? I know you're probably sitting there going, how did that work? Let's bring in senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen, uh, because I know everybody, you know, organ donation is not foreign to us by any means, but my gosh, to go from one person, didn't work there, to another, Talk right, to us about this. Actually, this, that's this is the kind of thing where when I heard the story, I thought, wow, that's such a simple thing. How smart of them to think of it. They should have been doing this all along because often an organ won't work. Now, the organ was fine. Kara Fearing's organ was just fine. There was nothing wrong with it. It, it first thought, well, we'll just get rid of it. We're just going to throw it away because that's what you do when, uh, when an organ doesn't work. How many kidneys... You know, we're wondering, could we harvest this way? We asked the doctor who did this, and they're not sure of the number, but certainly hundreds. There are probably hundreds of kidneys being thrown away wow. that we could instead put in a second recipient to see if it works. I mean, it's really exciting. It could save hundreds of lives. Yeah, you can, especially people who have been on a list for so long, it may dwindle that list certainly e down. Even, more right. More. I mean, there's 19,000 people on that list, so mm -hmm. it's not going to get rid of it, but it may, as you say, dwindle a little bit. Right. And one last question. How is Ray doing? Because he didn't have the kidney. Right. He got it, and now he's still out of kidney. He is still out of kidney, and he is on dialysis. Mm. So... Well, you know that he's happy, at least, that it's working. In right, that it that helped Dr. Gomez. Hope. That's yeah. right. Okay. Hey, Elizabeth, thank you. Thank you. Great story. Wow. Uh, two dozen rolls of paper towels, a giant, giant jar of peanut butter, and a mortgage. Well, some celebrities are expected at a rally tonight for Trayvon Martin. One of the rally's sponsors says Magic Johnson, Stevie Wonder, Denzel Washington. Going to join Trayvon's parents at an event that's in L.A. Martin was shot in Florida two months ago. Uh, today, in fact, and a new investigation girl, 17 years old, from Missouri, who disappeared for nearly a week, was recently found, but there was no baby. She told family and friends that the baby died during birth. 
some people were surprised when Costco started selling uh, bridal gowns. Remember that last year? Mm-hmm. It's Mexican wrestling with a strong... Well, a beauty queen is losing a crown because she's married. Carlina Duran was named Little Boy. It worked for him. Lucha Libre is the popular sport of wrestling from Mexico. Well, Thelma Gutierrez tells us how the pastime has kind of taken on a political twist now. Edwards' former aide is facing another day of scrutiny from Edwards' defense team. During their cross-examination, defense lawyers have been trying to paint Andrew Young as someone who wanted to profit from Edwards' downfall. Well, CNN's Joe Johns is following the case from Greensboro, North Carolina. Mm. Now, remember, Edwards faces 30 years in prison if the jury decides that he diverted campaign contributions to cover up his affair with Riel Hunter. And as you heard Joe John say there, Young's book getting a lot of attention in this case. You can find out more about that and why Young says he wrote it. It's at our website at hlntv.com. Two current TSA employees were arrested in an alleged drug and bribery scheme. And two former politics, President Obama will officially kick off his re-election campaign next week. He's got two big... This weekend marks 20 years since the riots in Los Angeles. Mm. Dr. Drew actually treated King for alcoholism over the years. And King's written a book about his experiences called The Riot Within. All righty, I am happy to tell you that a three-year-old California girl is home and she is safe, but oh, what a frightening ride she had with a car. Mm, the police say the suspect left the girl on the sidewalk after a few minutes. Thankfully, uh, a woman, another woman, found her, but that suspect, uh, is, they're still looking for her. Some wounded veterans got quite a warm welcome as they arrived in Texas for a three-day bike ride. And by the way, kicks off today. Best of luck to all of them. One vet says his goal is just to keep up. And, and at that point, I don't think it matters what seat you're in, but <laughs> a new study claims to have found the best seat on a plane. Get ready to take notes, people. Go for seat number 6A. You'll be one of the first to get off the plane. You'll have a window seat. People are talking about this right now on HLNTV.com. And site editor Katie Caperton has some more tips for us on finding the right seat. The first thing I asked was, is this... Uh, a first class seat because no. clearly that would make it very comfortable. Yes. We're, we're going first class, which is clearly the best, but of all the co middle seats. <laughs> this makes me laugh. Who wants to sit in the middle seat? The person you don't want to sit next to. <laughs> what strange person prefers to have that seat, but there's a small part of the population that would like to sit there. I don't know why. I don't hmm. know why. But yeah, they, they also rated the worst seat on the plane, which is 31E. Way in the back, yeah. right in the middle, near the engine and near the, yeah, something right around there. You're always in between bathroom and engine. So I know. a lot of folks were commenting this on this story on HLNTV.com. If you go in the comment section, a lot of folks had different suggestions of different sites you can go to to help you figure out plane by plane, which, which seat is the best. So people get really into this. Hmm. Well, sure, because we all fly. I was just in a plane and I would not in 6A. I can tell you that right now. 31E. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't there either, but <laughs> what the hey. Um, let's talk about Twitter mm -hmm. and how it pretty much saved this couple's wedding. Mm -hmm. This is impressive. It's impressive, I think, on a human, yeah. from a human standpoint, that people really, they really come at you yeah. to, to help you if you need it. Yeah, this is the number one story on HLNTV.com right now. So if you go to site and check this out, it's a couple in the U wildfire. A lot of media outlets across the UK started to, to, to cover this. A lot of celebrities began retweeting it. Before they knew it, they had all these donations came in to make up a, 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 a lot and then some over the, the $7,000 they donations had lost. Donations not of money, though. We should no, point out, right, no, but no, of no. services. Yeah, wedding photographers, flowers. They even had a magician who offered his services at their wedding. <laughs> so they got married. Could he come up with that Seven grand that they left by no, chance. A rabbit or we work in the wedding industry. We feel for you. This happens from time that to is time. So and sweet. So it's a really nice story. Eight years? It said eight they'd years. been saving for eight years. Eight I thought years. that is longer than that great movie that's out. What is it? The five year engagement? Yes, that's they a got long a beat. Time. Yeah, they needed more than a magician. <laughs> wow! Hey, Katie, thank you so much. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, a Wisconsin man is selling waterbeds for cows. I know it just came out of my mouth. I can't believe it either, but it's true. The cows are milking it for all it's worth. Mm -hmm. Reynolds Wolf takes us out to a farm in this start small, think big. Two years after she disappeared, Baltimore police have made an arrest now in connection with the death of 16-year-old Felicia Barnes. Remember, she's the North... And a bail hearing, by the way, for Johnson could happen as early as tomorrow. 
percent of all married couples say they don't have the same racial background, and that's an all-time high for the U.S. Those numbers are even higher for unmarried couples. This is according to new census information. Uh, partnerships between Hispanic and non-Hispanics are the most common, but analysts say the jump is likely because more Americans are getting comfortable saying they're racially mixed. Did you know Steve Jobs wanted to be Willy Wonka and let one kind of lucky person into his chocolate factory, so to speak, actually, the headquarters of his Apple empire? This is according to... So have you heard about this? Pizza Hut is rolling out a pizza topped with whole cheeseburgers. And you're not going to be able to get it here in America. So does this mean that our status as the junk food capital of the world is in jeopardy? Here's CNN's Jeannie Mose. All right, your game, would you try? Uh, let me tell you about something serious here. The parents of Isabel Salas are begging...